Hey guys, Dan Heilman back with another Watcher of Realms video. Uh, I am absolutely loving this game. This is going to be kind of like a review on the game. I've been playing the game, what, five or six days since whenever it came out. Um, it's wild because this is the only game I'm playing right now that is actually cross-platform. So I'm playing Eternal Evolution right now, King Arthur, and uh, Dragonair. And none of these games are cross uh, platform, right? So I can't play them. I can't play any of those games on my iPhone. This one seamlessly goes between iPhone and PC emulator. They support emulators, they work on emulators, etc. Um, so I kind of want to just compare this game to some of the other games playing right, right now, talk about it, talk about some of the content and stuff. Let me first compare it to the other games, then we'll go through some of the content we'll just talk about why I'm loving this game so much I guess the very first thing is I was a huge fan of tower defense so if you don't know what this game is it's tower defense game so um yeah you place your heroes it is a full-on gotcha collector game plus tower defense so you basically get to go in and as far as the gameplay you're uh, just gonna drop some stuff down you have basically like tanks and melee and then you have healers and then you have damage uh, to kind of talk about it very simply so um, So let's go we'll throw some heroes down kind of just show you and I'll kind of just talk while this uh, plays in the background So what you can do is uh, you can place um, You know melee out in front like this and they can kind of uh, block for you and Attack and soak up some damage you got uh, damage dealers like um, that girl I put up top they also have healers, so this healer has a really big range. I like using him, so we can use him as a healer. Um, been pretty cool there. And um, yeah, the game is really, really awesome. There's a lot of challenge and strategy, right? Because every single layout is kind of different. Um, and they do this really cool stuff in like Arena and everything where it can kind of just save your setup from the last one. So you can actually auto Arena, um, and it kind of just does what you did the last time. So a lot of cool stuff like that. They have... Uh, they have, um, you know, like an auto battle feature that is really good. Um, it speeds up the time and everything, and it kind of just uses your setup. So if you get a faster setup, it overwrites the last one. I really love that feature. Uh, this game is top tier, in my opinion. So now let me compare those to some of the other games. Uh, Dragonair. Dragonair to get a legendary hero. They had $850 banners. That's how much it costs you if you wanted to get a legendary hero. You don't get any summons. There's no content in the game. There's literally nothing to do freaking ever in Dragonair. There's literally nothing to do. This game just pounds out uh, so much content right from launch. There is so much stuff to do. There's all different sorts of aspects. There's, uh, you know, clans and clan bosses. There's different types of content, right? You got hard. Um, I'm in hard right now. You have normal. You have all these campaign stages. You have nothing like that in Dragonair. There's no content. There's literally nothing to do. They opened up Overworld yesterday, and it's just boring-ass questing where you just run around the map, and you click 500 times. Oh, look it. I unlocked a quest. Whoa, guys. Look at how much fun that is. Woo. So Dragonair, um, pretty much dead to me, honestly. Um, they really got me good. I spent a lot of money on the game and ended up being the worst game I've ever played. Um, the first two weeks were kind of fun. Then they just said, ha ha, no more content. Just kidding. Cash grab. Ha 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 ha. Let's take your money. And then uh, King Arthur over here, they just decided that I literally did a bug report saying you cannot use, you cannot chat in the game. Um, the chat feature is broken. And they said, sorry, we don't support emulators. That was the response to me. What a slap in the face. The buggiest game I've ever played in my entire life. I've never in my life played a game that is buggier than King Arthur right now. Nothing works. Emulator doesn't work. It is so laggy. It looks terrible. Not, literally nothing in the game works. Half the sets don't even work. Half the freaking heroes don't even work. The chat doesn't work. There's been bugs from five betas ago that are still in the goddamn game. It's just enraging. And then uh, Eternal Evolution... Honestly, still kind of enjoying Eternal Evolution. They did some changes today with SP heroes which people are really really hating um but then we come to this beautiful game man i have not found a lot of bugs i've only found some very small translation issues there's a ridiculous amount of content it's not wildly violently pay to win you don't need to spend a million dollars they have really good value packs like they had a, one of the best heroes in the game for five dollars you know what I mean? With other good stuff with her. This girl right here, Iona. One of the best heroes in the entire game. The graphics are top freaking 
tier. Look at the graphics in this game. It's like, I don't know, it might be better in Raid Shadow Legends because this is an emulator, right? This isn't even a PC client or anything like that. So I'm already kind of gimped because I'm using an emulator. On the phone, it looks phenomenal. On an iPad, it looks really good as well. Um, man, I, I can't even think of something bad to say about this game. Honestly, um, they got a promotion system. They got gear system with variable stat gear. Um, I'm really happy about the variable stat gear. I really can't play games that doesn't have variable stat gear. Um, so you got a bunch of different gear sets. You got a bunch of different hero classes. We got summon events. We got just wild events just coming crazy. We have an event calendar. Wow, some games don't even tell you what's happening. We also have the most communication out of any game I've ever seen. Um, let's go into the Watcher of the Realms Discord and just check how much they send messages in here, okay? Let's just go. Game news, okay? Uh, game news. Hello, Commander. Yesterday, 6 p.m. Yesterday, 4.30 p.m. Yesterday, 1.30 p.m. Yesterday, or two days ago, 4.30 p.m. You see what I mean? Multiple messages every day about what's happening, improvements to the game, um, this and that, you know, reminding you for events that are coming soon. We have this amazing summon event that's coming this weekend, tomorrow. Um, two times rate up for legendaries. I've seen people say don't summon on this banner and you are on something if you're saying that because you should 1000% be summoning on this banner. Yes, it's a 10x event for these heroes, which most of them are really good besides this purple dude right here. These two on the left are apparently some of the best heroes in the game. Um, this healer is really good. I use her. I'm not sure about these two heroes, but uh, 10x... Some people don't like a 10x because usually they put bad heroes in there. This one, two-thirds of the Legos are extremely good top-tier, S-tier uh, legendaries. And it's a double legendary summon event. Amazing. The rates aren't amazing in this game, but you get a ridiculous amount of summons. You get a lot of summons for free. You honestly get a lot of summons. I got 40 here. I think I bought maybe one or two packs. The rest I've just kind of gotten from completion and stuff. Um, they have a little bit different summons in this game. So they have leader skills or 0.04, uh, sorry, heroes with leader skills are 0.04. And then the rest of them are 0.46 for a total of 0.5%, kind of a low summon rate, but you get a lot more summons in Dragonair. They have six times the summon rate for legendaries, but they give you like 10 summons a month and that's all you get in Dragonair. So you'll never ever get legendaries in Dragonair unless you spend money. Realistically, you won't get a lot. Um, this game, the summon rates are a lot lower, but you get a lot more summons. And uh, you got fusions in this game, which is really cool. Um, they kind of just copied it directly from Raid Shadow Legends, but I'm okay with that. Um, it's nice to be able to get some of these different heroes um, pretty easily. I want to grab this guy, this Theowin Marksman dude, so I might try to uh, get him. I have him. I don't have him yet, so I might try to fuse him, but man, I am loving the game. So we got regular idol rewards. It's, it's a little bit different than other games. So this one, you just have to be online for an hour and a half, and then you get all your stuff. Um, you don't have to come in here and like, you know, grab a chest 15 times or whatever. You have the shop here, which is actually really nice. Um, you can get like auto fight stuff um, and you can, you know, get like good gear. You can get discounted summons in here. So I've been buying those. Um, I'm only buying gold gear now because I have a lot of purple gear. You can get, you know, fodder and food and stuff like that in here. Uh, man, they got guild with guild quests. They have guild members. Guess what? You can have more than 10 members when you start the guild. I don't know who was thinking in King Arthur that 10 freaking people in your guild and then the, only the guild master has to spend a million dollars to unlock more slots and no one else can help him. Dumbest design decision on the planet in King Arthur. But this game... Everything's great, man. Guild info, you got guild boss, you got different bosses that unlock, you got different chests, just like, kind of like Raid Shadow Legends, but I don't have any fights, but, uh, oh, can you buy more fights? 200 diamonds, I can buy more fights. So, I don't know, the layout's really cool. You can set up, like, a, a really big team in there um, with healers and melee and blah, blah, blah. It's just really... There's so much stuff you can do in this game with just the layout and the tower defense stuff. If you like tower defense, you'll absolutely love this game. If you don't like tower defense, you still might enjoy this game because it's just a high quality gotcha game, dude. It is really good. 
You can go through here and you can do all sorts of different raids. You got faction wars that I just finally unlocked. You got uh, this tide thing where basically you set up like this, um, this, this team to like withstand these different waves and you get separate talents like in this game mode. Oh man, this game is amazing. I, I've been looking for a new game that I want to cover. I think this game might be the main game on the main channel. Um, I did a summon video yesterday. It got great views. Obviously, other people are enjoying this game as well. Uh, Cause I got like 3,000 views in like one day on a summon video for a game that I've never covered before, which is insane. Um, I mean, no one wants to watch my King Arthur videos where it's all glitchy on the screen. You can't even see. It's like so laggy. You can't even play it. Um, let's talk about Arena. Really cool. Um, really cool thing I've never seen before. So. I can go up against this person. Oh, I can't auto fight because he's too high, maybe. Oh, I haven't done it for the day. I think you have to do a battle once and then you can auto fight. So I'll show you how that works. Um, for example, we will use, we got those two. Um, we don't need really healers in this battle really at all. Um, so let's maybe use my girl who slows. We'll use that. Um, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so. I'll kind of show you how this works. So you do one fight and then you can auto it after that and it'll copy exactly what you did. It's really cool. You're not physically facing the other person. You're kind of going against them, right, for, for waves here. So what you can do is, uh, what I like to do is I like to open up um, with this girl right here, able to hit everything uh, just like that. I drop her in. I'm going to 2x it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my other AOE girl usually on the other side uh, once we unlock her. But I could also do this, which I haven't done before. I could actually do that. Nah, we'll, we'll save for my other big AOE girl because she hits really hard. Uh, we'll put her down here, drop her in, do the same exact thing, kitty core from each other. And these guys are just going to... Uh, he went for a melee first. Okay. He went for a melee first. Interesting. So I won the round there even though I've, I, I must have just killed them faster, I guess. Uh, okay, so then now we're going to, um, maybe I'll do something a little different here. Maybe I will, or maybe I won't. Um, what do I want to do? Maybe I'll just go like this so I can start picking off some of these guys as they go. Maybe we'll do that. Help pick off some of these little enemies here. And then uh, we'll take our little slow girl and we'll throw her in like that probably slow them all down before they get in here and then we'll throw my final guy in um, once I can unlock him we'll go like this we'll drop him like this and we'll go like that and there's my little layout for my PvP team you can see me kind of behind me a little bit so that's what I do and then it's really cool so now I just won this battle and now what I'll do is the next battle I can just press auto and it'll just do exactly what I just did. Really cool feature. And then if you complete a dungeon that same way, if you get it like a faster time, it, like if you do it again and you get a faster time, it'll resave that. And then when you do the auto battle, it'll just do exactly what you did. It kind of like records what you did. I don't know. It's amazing. I'm just really, uh, I'm really impressed with this game. I am really impressed with this game. I came into this game not expecting a lot because I've been so disappointed in games recently. Dragonair made me not trust anyone ever again. That was clearly an obvious cash grab. They made two weeks of content and that's all they made. And they slow rolled it so that you are like getting excited for the content. And then they just took all your money, millions of dollars, and then they just leave you with no content, nothing to do. So I am extremely impressed with this game. It is top tier. So then now if I wanted to kill someone, I just hit this auto fight and it'll do exactly what I just did. It's really cool. I love the features in this game. So um, back in the raids, we got all sorts of stuff. We got a promotion raid if you want to like promote your heroes. It's kind of like almost kind of like an ascension but then we also have an ascension system this gives them purple stars and it like increases their attack range and does like a bunch of different stuff you come in here and each one needs drastically different teams um really cool so you got marksmen mages you got defenders and healers lumped together and then you have fighters which are like melee 
Um, you have EXP Raid, where you basically do a stage that you unlocked in campaign. You can do the auto fight. Again, it does exactly what you did the last time. As long as you three start it, it saves your replay and you can just hit auto. You can even auto when you don't have chances left. So when you fully run out of chances, you can just hit start and it'll just do your auto thing anyways. And then you can just hit restart, 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 restart. Um, so even if you don't have auto, it doesn't remove the auto feature. The quality of life in this game is top tier. The um, This game is amazing. I can't say enough good things. If you're on the fence about trying this game because you don't like tower defense or whatever, try the game. Uh, this is where you get gear. So you have a couple different types of gear. You have two-piece sets. And then you have like accessories, which are kind of three-piece sets. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, fact and trial, talked about that, talked about Tide. Um, I haven't unlocked artifact stuff yet, so we'll get there eventually and unlock that. But uh, this game is amazing, guys. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. We just unlocked some Pantheon stuff with give you uh, different types of bonuses. And uh, that's pretty much all the content in the game. But I cannot say enough good things about this game. I am very, very impressed. Guess what? Gold. You get gold in this game. King Arthur. Spend a thousand dollars on gold and it'll last you an hour. This game, I haven't bought gold yet, and I got two million, and I've been able to upgrade gear constantly. Any gear I want, I upgrade it. Oh my god, this game is just so refreshing. Um, communication from the devs, they've done everything right. There's a content creator program. It took me a couple days to get into it, but once I messaged the right person, I got in. There's events in there. Um, I cannot say enough good things about this game. I really can't. I really can't. Um, this is the best game I've played in a while. I'm really, really, really enjoying it. Okay, enough of me just talking about how much I enjoy the game. Try it yourself. Um, top tier game. Top tier game. This game is so good. Uh, just no bugs. Support for cross-platform. Dev communication. Uh, honestly, free-to-play friendly. And... Uh, a lot of content there's a lot of content right from launch this game is amazing you have this beautiful storyline make sure you're doing this because you get a legendary at the end of it along with a million really good rewards i just can't say enough good things that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it um download this game i it's amazing i guarantee you you'll like it um that's it for the video guys have a great day everyone see you guys